What is happening, y'all? Welcome, I'm back. So one more mission to close out the Let's Play. So check it out now. Anytime I select something now, I can hit triangle. This mission has already been cleared. Level sync can be applied. Applying level sync will lower the level of your character and your equipment to an appropriate degree for the duration of this mission. At the same time, the base level of items found will match that of what you would find in the highest level mission, 147, you have completed on the same difficulty. How fucking cool is that? Basically, it'll pull me down to like level 94, so I'm not like an overleveled piece of garbage. But despite that, it'll drop loot that is basically max level loot. So the very first thing that I got to check is if I can do this with a dojo mission. I don't think I can. I don't think I can do it with a dojo mission, sadly. Which means I still have to farm this guy <laughs> until the end of time if I ever want to get my set. Oh, man. I'm going to beat him into a... He's just about to get annihilated. If I wasn't strong enough. <laughs> well, farming you will have never been easier, that's for sure. Even if that, look at that stupid mask another 50 times. Oh man, and I didn't show it last episode, but check this out. Are you ready for this? This is, this is as if I didn't think this game was already phenomenal. It just got my PP hard and I'm about to show you why. Builds. I can set 20 separate builds and it will save my equipment loadout, my jutsu, my, my uh, spirit, the cores I have, and my stats. And I can freely swap between them at any time. That is, this is something that I have wanted in, in so many games. Like Diablo has something like this with the closet where you can just boom, you know, you just click a thing and all your builds swap. And seeing it in Neo is like a dream come true. Because it means that this one save that I've already done almost every single thing in the game in, I can just keep playing on. I can become a strength build. I can become a, a an Omeo build. I can do whatever I want with it. That is freaking awesome. So I still haven't found any of the hang and scroll things. Let's take a look at some of the loot we got. Stuff is high ass level. Mm, it's a rotten rope cutter too. Oh God, I need it. I need it in my life. Put that on. Give me that green. Oh, dropped all corrupted weapons too. That's badass. Put those two on. All right, don't have anything there. Let's do, um, oh, you know what we can do? Let's do the, the mission for William's son. Let's knock that out. We had that. There we go, Dawn of Hope. We'll do this and then uh, we'll go back and try to find that Kodama that we missed, I think. This looks like the uh, the ninja estate. It's been a while. Well, it's good to have you on my side. Going after me is one thing, but those cowards went for Joseph. Don't you worry, William. We're going to get your boy back. First, I am going to go here. Um, in the samurai tree, one more cannon round. 
take damage when using them. Hmm. Not sure how I like the sound of that. What other passives can I get? Oh, Guardian Spirit Talismans for sure. I would use those. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a red. I was getting ready to beat its ass. What is this mission? This looks like it's about to be straight cancer. No Amretta here. Oh god, I love all the greens. There we go. It's a ladder. I'm like sitting here like, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know why these yokai stole your kid, but don't you worry, we are going to get him back. Dodge this, asshole. Oh man, he did. of Amrita. Oh, man. I feel... I feel at peace. Feels good. Feels good knowing I've made it here. Because let's be honest, for those of you that have never played Neo before, this is where the game begins. Everything up until this point, you know, all the, the farming that we did, that was all just, that was like the pre-game. Now that we're, now that we're uh, past it, this is where, this is where Neo starts. As ridiculous as that sounds. Getting all the, the, the high-end loot going up into the higher difficulties. This is where Neo begins to shine. The thing is, the build we have right now, this isn't even done. Imagine this if I had like 
if I had the set I'm wearing, but green, and actually like min-maxed, that's ultimately what you, you work towards. Have this set in green or or have the orange version if I can get up into the abyss. Actually have like ninja power on it. All right, that just tracked me in midair. Crazy how damn good Yatsuno Kami is. As he says that I killed a guy. Oh man, that is good. Me likey. Get off of William. We gotta go up. I can open up a shortcut. I think if I... This way. God damn it. Every time. That ability. Every single time, I think I'm going to die when I see that. I didn't even think to go left. Well, no, that door probably was locked. And now I'm thinking about it. I could do, I could just continue the Let's Play series. Like, go down to, like, an episode a day or something. And just focus on like new game progression but more than likely after the walkthrough prep's done this save will just be um will be what i play on stream most of the time just going through the higher difficulties all the way up to i guess it would be dream of the neo I was like, wait, give me a second. And I'm like, what are we waiting on, dude? Let's go. The kid's up here. Let's get him.
Oh shit, I might be dead. Yep. Them damn anchor jumps. farming from my greens all of my delicious delicious greens well, the easiest way is to get greens is to kill these remnants and then take these greens and then craft new gear with those greens. But I only, I'm only gonna farm stuff where there's multiple greens. I'm just standing there blocking. You got it? Do you got it? Like, bro, come on. Let's go. I'm out here trying to save a kid and William is taking a nap. Hello there. wonder your kids getting captured constantly bro here how about fight fight this guy get me some greens you know what they say you want something done Iceberg. 
I just realized I don't even have the mystic art for my Sorigami yet. And if it's anything like the first game, if I take the uh, the weight upgrade, because there's like a weight upgrade and a blade upgrade, the blade upgrade is like an 8% increase because the blade's already pretty strong, whereas the weight upgrade is like a 20% increase. And those are all weights. Every single one of those swings is a weighted attack. Just to give some perspective. Pop out up here. We're supposed to go back past the Cyclops. Choco cup. What a rip off. I have nothing. No ninja skills. So if there's a boss fight. There is a boss fight. It's go time, bitch! Coming in big. Oh, it's an Unroki? Oh, this is. Yes, Dad. I don't know who he takes after, but having enough, he 
here. Make some goods. Thank you. It's probably the uh, uh, the old man blacksmith's baby. <laughs> Yo, ninjutsu bunny. Okay, let's go. The ship that brought me here was named Love in Dutch. But I had no love for this land. It was full of death and demons. I saw how in the midst of battle, she learned what the samurai fight. How they bring love to a desolate land. She inherited the spirit of the samurai. And with it came home. And she inherited my seed. And with it came my son. So let's see that Gyokoto was like the go-to spirit for uh, ninjutsu builds back in the day. So let us see. So after glow is done see what's weird is i still like a lot of these missions like if i go to dream for example i still have the like you know speak with them in the interim but if i go to the interim they don't exist they're not in the interim so that's something that i am not sure about all who die must eventually arrive in a place known as the interim like maybe i need to to go back and replay a mission with them but like have them die in the mission i don't know this is chilling. There's just, there's, there's that, which makes me think maybe that's related to dude because he's like part Kappa. But beyond him, we just have you. Yeah, and he's just like, ah, speak to the dead people. Yeah, I don't know. And there's no one else here. So I'm not sure on the interim missions. Um, the only ones I'm missing are... are the interim missions, which... there's no one here for me to talk to. So I'm not sure what to do. I mean, there's that one that I did that I didn't uh, record, but... It's because it ties into a follow-up mission, but the follow-up mission requires a dude to assist me, and I don't know how to make that happen. So, I am not sure. But either way, um, in terms of, like, missions that are available that I can do, I guess this is it for now. I mean, it's it's been a hell of a journey. Because these are, these are two are interims. This, I need him to show up in Scattered Fragments, which I could replay that, just to show it. And then in Dawn, the only one is uh, this one, which I need to be a dual blade master to do. So I don't know. I'm going to look around, see if I can find any info about the intro missions on like Reddit or something. And um, you know, maybe we'll, we'll have another episode. So either way, if we don't, y'all know that means the walkthrough's coming. So I'll see you soon enough with some. Peace.